let us discuss about treatment of non plasmodium falciparum malaria non plasmodium falciparum malaria means malaria due to yox on malaria and plasmodium no less these are the non falciparum malaria in pakistan which one is which one is more common why wex in pakistan plasmodium why wex malaria is more common is compared to plasmodium falciparum treatment of plasmodium why wex depends on the susceptibility of chloroquine chloroquine susceptible plasmodium yx malaria chloroquine resistant chloroquine resistance plasmodium yx malaria treatment for chloroquine susceptible plasmodium yx malaria treatment is chloroquine with primaquine in combination chloroquine is given up total dose 25 mg per kg over 3 days 10 mg per kg on the first day 10 mg per kg on the second day 5 mg per kg on the third day total 25 mg per kg is it clear it is commonly given is 1 g chloroquine on the first day 1 g chloroquine on the second day 500 mg on the third day over 3 days duration along with primaquine primaquine to eradicate the epnozite of plasmodium yx and plasmodium on while plasmodium malaria and plasmodium no lesi they do not form epnozite to eradicate the epnozite of plasmodium yx and plasmodium ol to prevent relapses of malaria epnozite are the dormant part 
of plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ol in the liver so primaquin must be given along with chloroquine in case of vivax and ol for radical cure primaquin is given zero point two five to zero point five milligram per kg the dose of prima queen is zero point two five to zero point five milligram per kg usually fifteen to thirty milligram for 14 days given per 2 weeks given per 14 days 50 milligram of prima quick or 30 milligram of prima quick given per 14 days per radical cure of plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ol malaria prima queen is an oxidant that can cause hemolysis in g6 pd deficient patient and met hemoglobinemia resulting in dark urine due to hemolysis and sinuses due to met hemoglobinemia the patient may be presented with the dark urine or sinuses if the patient is g6 pd deficient patient may be presented with hemolysis resulting in dark urine if the patient develop met hemoglobinemia due to prima queen resulting in cyanosis. Prima queen is contraindicated in pregnancy and in children below the age of four years. Is it clear? Before you have to start the prima queen, you have to know about G6 PD level. In case of mild to moderate, mild to moderate G6 PD deficiency, Prima queen should be given 0.75 milligram per kg weekly weekly per eight week. Is it clear? In case of mild to moderate G6 PD deficiency, Prima Queen should be given 0 0.75 mg per kg weekly for 8 weeks. If there is no G6 PD deficiency, it should be given 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 mg per kg daily per 14 days but here weekly per 8 weeks in case of severe g6 pd deficiency glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency severe prana queen 
is contraindicated and should not be given. Is it clear? Treatment of chloroquine resistance plasmodium vivax malaria artemisin based combination therapy for 3 days with prima queen for 14 days if they are resistant to the chloroquine then you should give ACT artemisin based combination therapy for 3 days along with prima queen for radical cure to destroy, to eradicate, to eliminate the epnozide from liver, prima queen for 14 days. Treatment of mixed infection. Plasmodium Falciparum and Plasmodium Vivex Malaria. Co-infection with Plasmodium Falciparum and Plasmodium Vivex are common in clinical practice. The drug of choice for mixed infection is ACT, artemisin combination therapy for three days along with primer queen. for 14 days.